Hey guys, it's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be about us getting ready for your qualifying event. Um, today is November 6th. So some of you might have already gone to your qualifying event, which kind of makes this video non-usable or obsolete. But for those of you that are still going to your qualifying event, like ours is this going to be this Saturday, this is going to be a checklist for you to go through and making sure that you have everything and don't forget anything because you don't want to get your qualifying event and go, oh man, we forgot this or this and then you know you end up having a bad day or not qualifying. So this is going to be a video just to go through a checklist. Um, if you check the description, I even left a PDF for you guys to maybe print out so you guys can do a checklist uh, right before you leave for your qualifying event to make sure you have everything. So let's get to what you're supposed to have. Okay, so most importantly, you guys are going to need your robot with any attachments that you guys are going to need. We usually have a Lego EB3 Mindstorms kit to put the robot and all the attachments we'll need and put it right inside that kit. And for any last minute program changes, you're going to need your laptop. Don't forget the USB cord if you guys do not go uh, through Bluetooth. Um, you know, I... Depending on where you go, it'd be better to have this USB cable just in case the signals aren't connecting. And also don't forget your laptop charger. And we usually carry um, a, an extension cord just to make sure that if there's an outlet pretty far that we're always able to connect. So let's go through that again. Your laptop, USB cord, your laptop charger, and the extension cord would be a nice thing to have. And our teams always take an extra Lego Mindstorms EV3 kit, just in case there are parts and pieces that we lose or misplace, uh, something to easily um, modify or change something. We always sometimes need these pieces. Did I just say always sometimes? That was weird. Anyway, um, there are some cases where we were glad we brought it because there was something we needed to modify or change and we needed the pieces in order to do that for the robot. Also for the robot design uh, section of the competition, make sure you bring your code. So this is ours from last year. So this is just code and the annotation for what each block was for. Um, so the judges, I am not sure if they will ask, so we always bring this binder and we just show them the code that we used for each mission. That way we're able to explain to the judges what this block was for so they have a better idea of the programming for it. Okay, I'm in my back room here. Um, don't look, it's a mess, but um, you're going to need your project board. Um, Anything related to your project board um, and then anything related to your project. So, you know, your props, any costumes, anything that you're going to use for your project. So let's go through that list again. We would have your project board. Any props you would need to uh, demonstrate or present your project. And anything that, any costumes that you would, uh, your team would have to go with that. Okay, and then we would also, this saved me uh, the last year, having a cart to carry everything in from the car to, uh, we went to Legoland and that's a long haul from our car to the pit. So uh, any kind of cart that helps you put in the laptop, the kits, the robots, uh, all of your presentation boards uh, would be nice to have. And then we also have this, I think they call this like a TV tray, but our teams use this um, at the board so they can put their attachments on there. Um, any, anything that allows them to go through their robot game, so that's what we bring. Okay, this is a giant twisted uh, scene here, but um, our robot uh, has a battery that there's no way we're going to get to the battery. So in years past, we have taken a spare battery, but this year that's going to be totally not possible. 
So we're, we're definitely going to take a charger so that way after our first round, practice round, whatever, we'll put it back on the charge just to make sure that our robot stays at full power. And then there's also the laptop charger for that laptop. Okay, so there you go. And then, you know, every team's going to have different needs. Um, like for this year, our team's project, we're going to have to actually bring the project that we've made. So anything that goes with your project, and if you have something tangible, you're going to need to remember to bring that. Um, make sure you, if you're, like years past, um, my team has needed field trip slips because the parents can't go. So make sure you have all your logistics covered. Uh, make sure you bring trip slips for your kids so that if the parent leaves, you have contact and medical information. And so that's about it, guys. Um, it's a pretty lengthy list. And um, again, you can check down the link below. I made you guys a little PDF if you want to print out and do the little checklist. Obviously, again, every team has different needs, so we might have things that you guys won't need. And if I forgot something, you guys let me know in the comments section, and well, I'll try to maybe include that in the description. But um, usually the night before our qualifying event, uh, we'll quit maybe 15, 20 minutes early, make sure we go through our checklist so that way we have everything ready to go. So it's going to be a fun day. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I think we have maybe four days left, left before our event. So it's one of those nervous, but hey, we're going to have a good time type things. Um, also, anything, I think I forgot the project. Like if your team is doing a skit, make sure they have their skit lines. If you're, again, those props, those can easily be forgotten if you're going to do that for your project. So it's going to be a great day. Hope you guys, if you've already went, that you did good. And those of you that are going to be going to a qualifying event like my team, good luck to you guys. And hopefully you can qualify and move on. If not, have fun and learn a whole lot. All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out.